going to do today is we're going to make a ram pump. And what I like to do is I like to set up what I'm doing in the order I'm going to do it. Um, so that way I don't really lose track of my parts. So there's our ram pump. This is going to be really cool. So I'm going to shut these gate valves. And we're going to test it. So if that shuts, we're going to prime it. All right, you can see the pressure from this. I mean, it's just shooting back where I haven't sealed the PVC. Uh, so now we're going to take this, this side and just slowly kind of open it, just slowly. Um, I didn't put a pressure gauge on mine. I didn't think it was super necessary. But we're going to slowly open this up. If you open it too fast, this is going to stop.
run into that black pipe there. Let's see if this will work. That I was talking and saying that, hey, look, you should really be careful what you're doing. You should really plan it. You should really lay it out. Well, I put my check valve in the wrong spot. Um, before, I had the, uh, pretty sure, I had the check valve after the pressure chamber. It needs to be right before the pressure chamber. This piece was actually right here. So what I've done here is I put a cap on this end so I didn't have to cut too much. So, uh, water is on in my artificial creek. We're gonna start building pressure in this main line here as soon as we get actual creek pressure. Water's coming down from our creek into this tube. Gravity's taking it down up there. Check valve, and this check valve into the pressure tube. Pressure tube builds up pressure. We let some of that come out, and you can see it. Maybe you can see it. See that grass? Every time that check valve goes, it's moving that pipe. So. Our pipe runs all the way through here. We've got about 100 feet of pipe. All right, up, 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 up onto the roof. And then from the roof, it's gonna run down here. And it's supposed to be refilling this bucket. But, But my lovely assistant. <laughs> hey Jess. So what did we learn today? We learned that you should plan better. You should put all your pieces together and try to test it out before chemical welding. And you should lay all your pieces out again and again and again before you do anything because even when you think you have it planned out it's not necessarily planned out and it could take you an extra day but we don't make mistakes here we make precision based calculated miscalculations leading to progressive learning opportunities so I hope this helps you with your uh, irrigation issues we're gonna test it in the field hopefully soon and we can give you a video of that have a good one guys